This is Aditya again and today's topic is linear data structure. We all know about linear data structure means data in the linear form. A data structure is said to be linear if its element, form or sequence. A data structure is a particular way of organizing in a computer so that it can used effectively. Do you know why we use linear? Because linear data is so organizing that we can use effectively. The idea is to reduce the space and time complexity of different tasks is come through the linear data structure. Uh, there are some examples of linear data structure just like array, linked list, stacks, queues. We will go through all. But today's the main topic is array. When we hear the word data structure, try to relate the word data structure to array at its beginning level. So, do you know what is array? Yeah, we all know array has many definitions. Just like an array is a collection of items sorted at contiguous memory location. The idea is to be store, manipulate item of the same type together. This makes it easier to calculate the position of each element by simply adding at offset to base value. Many definitions, just like one of this. An array is a collection of items stored at contiguous memory locations and the another definition is an array data structure or simply an array consisting of a collection of elements in elements you can calculate it as values or variables each identified by at least one array index or key an array is stored such that the position of each value can be computed from its index and just wait a minute we have one more definition of array just like array is a kind of data structure that can store a fixed size sequence collection of elements of the same type an array is used to store the collection of data but it is often more useful to think of an array as a collection of variable of the same item i think you get a better idea what is array? For more simplification, you can see this diagram. We visualize array this type, means a sequence of character, just like this is index one, index, sorry, this is index zero, index one, index two, three, four, five, six, and many more. And always remember, every index of array start from zero and every last block of array should be null now this is type of indexing in array zero that we said here zero based indexing the first element of array is indexed by subscript of zero one this one one based indexing the first element of the array is indexed by subscript of one and n base indexing like enumerations or character may be used as an array index now talk about some advantages of array means why we use this array what is so what is profit by using this array actually you hear a lot more advantage just like collection of similar types of data and uh, used to implement other data structure like linked list stacks queue graph yes and two dimensional array uses to represent a matrix and there are some more advantages just like you hear, hear it before it is used to represent multiple data items of same type of using only single name yes is it multiple data items of same data type can be assessed using single name array can be used to implement matrices and there are a lot of advantages of array but i chosen these two because these are the main advantages of array array allows random access of element this makes assessing elements by position faster get it means in other data structure this may be a little bit more difficult but in array this is so easy make assessing elements by position means in other data structure some of them we have to traverse to the position but in array 
we can directly pick the pick from that position and array have better cache locality that can make a pretty big difference in performance this is also good now talk about some disadvantages you probably listen about more time complexity increase in insertion and deletion operation of course time complexity increased because if we insert in the middle of then every block should have shifted to the next that's why time complexity increased wastage of memory because array are fixed in size yes this is very 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 disadvantage this is of fixed size but what we can do nothing if there is enough space present in the memory but not in contiguous form in this case you will not able to initialize your array got it it is not possible to increase the size of array once you had declared the array and you can also use some other functions like malloc calloc vectors to increase the size of array now these are the applications and these are the very good applications pay a very special attention to these applications these are very good applications array is used to implement mathematical vectors and matrices as well as other kind of regulator as well as other kind of rectangular table many databases small and large consist of one dimensional array whose elements are records got it array are used to implement other data structures such as list heaps hash tables queues dequeues stacks string willist means this is very helpful to create many more abstract data structure array based implementation of other data structure are frequently simple and space efficient means required a little space overhead but may have a poor space complexity particularly when modified compared to tree based data structure yeah that's also is it i know you probably not go through all but we can practically examine by solving different problems okay then we easily understand what are these applications means now we will talk about some efficiency we will not go through through this theory but we have to see this diagram clearly okay this tells clearly indexing in indexing linked list takes big o n of time complexity this tells clearly in indexing linked list takes complexity of big o n and whenever whether the array uses only big o 1 that's the least worst complexity ever means this is very good complexity big o 1 means a constant time refers to it a dynamic array also big o 1 balanced tree take a little bit more complex big o log n random access list big o log n and has array tree big o 1 this is also good and when we insert and delete at beginning then linked list takes big o 1 because it directly insert or delete through head from beginning yeah and it doesn't have any complexity at insertion at beginning i think you go through all this to get a better complex but the chapter is not finished we have to go through the board 